Imagine noticing a sudden curve in your erection. It's painful, it looks different, and deep down inside you know something's going wrong. Maybe you feel a hard lump under your skin, or maybe you feel that sex is uncomfortable or even impossible. Naturally, you start to worry. Is this permanent? That is the experience of Peyronie's disease, a condition that silently affects one in 10 men, yet very few talk about it. The good news, there's a growing body of evidence that this condition can be treated conservatively. One of those tools we use is therapeutic ultrasound, and recent clinical research, including the very first randomized controlled trial, is showing very impressive results. Peyronie's disease happens when there's scar tissue or plaque formation in the layer of the penis known as the tunica albiginia. This tissue normally stretches to allow a straight erection, but when it scars, it loses elasticity, causing curvature, shortening, or an indentation. It's essentially your body's wound healing system overreacting, a healing response gone wrong. Over time, this fibrotic tissue can harden or calcify, with some men feeling pain in their erections or others just simply noticing the new curve. And anyone with Peyronie's disease will tell you, it's not just a physical problem. It can deeply impact confidence, self-image, and relationships. When we look at the underlying mechanisms of Peyronie's disease, it's often believed to be multifactorial. People with erectile dysfunction, cardiovascular disease, or have had trauma to the region are generally known to be a little more susceptible to developing this. One mechanism that's been proposed is that during intercourse, if the penis isn't fully erect, the penis can do something known as buckling, where it bends as it goes in and out. And this creates pressure at the base of the penis when it contacts the partner's pubic bone repetitively, causing inflammation to occur. This leads to scar formation and limits the ability of the penis to stretch with erections, ultimately leading to curvature and deformities. But it can also develop without any presence of sexual related trauma. If you've had prostate cancer surgery or radiation, up to 16% of men can develop Peyronie's disease. So if you've gone through pelvic surgery and noticed some changes afterwards, you're not just imagining it, there is a biological cause. Diagnosis usually involves a physical examination and an ultrasound. This allows doctors to see the plaques, measure their size, and assess the blood flow in the penis. So here's where pelvic floor physiotherapists have an important role. But emerging research shows that therapeutic ultrasound can have a direct effect on the plaques themselves. Therapeutic ultrasound is a physiotherapy modality that uses high frequency sound waves to produce micro vibrations in the tissues. These vibrations gently increase blood flow, reduce inflammation, and promote collagen remodeling. The heat generated, which is about 40 to 45 degrees Celsius, can improve muscle extensibility, decrease muscle spasm, and reduce pain. All of of which are key for men who are experiencing penile pain and tightness. In one more recent pilot study, a patient with Peyronie's disease received 12 sessions of therapeutic ultrasound at 3.0 watts per centimeter square with a 10 minute continuous mode dose over four weeks. A penile duplex Doppler ultrasound confirmed the presence of multifocal calcifications in two plaques measuring seven millimeters with three calcifications each measuring 0.5 millimeters. After the 12 sessions, remarkably, there was complete resolution of both the plaque and calcifications. Historically, previous studies utilize quite low frequencies and relatively short treatment times of five minutes, which may have limited its effectiveness. Repeat testing in three subsequent patients with Peyronie's disease, utilizing the increased intensity of the ultrasound settings, provided similar outcomes. This marked improvement in penile curvature in these pilot studies led to the creation of the first randomized controlled trial in 2020. In this study, 46 men with Peyronie's disease were recruited and randomly assigned to receive 12 ultrasound therapy sessions over four weeks compared to a control group. Each session used continuous wave ultrasound at 1.5 to 2.5 watts per centimeter square at three megahertz for 10 minutes directly applied to the plaque region. Here's what they found. Men who received ultrasounds had significant reductions in plaque size and fibrosis confirmed on these ultrasound scans. The average penile curvature reduced about 38%, reducing by about 17 degrees. Their erectile function scores increased, meaning better rigidity and satisfaction, pain resolved completely in all intervention participants, and notably, participants reported improved confidence in sexual activity following these treatments. Now remember, these results weren't just self-reported. They were confirmed medically with the penile duplex Doppler ultrasound, the gold standard for measuring plaque changes and blood flow. And this was the first time there was ever a randomized controlled trial for this population. And it concluded that therapeutic ultrasound is a safe, effective, and it should be a first-line treatment for those 
diagnosed with Peyronie's disease. What's exciting to me about this is that ultrasound offers a non-invasive, low-risk option, something that can be integrated alongside other conservative treatments. And this is especially important in the acute phase when inflammation is active and tissue remodeling is possible. So if you're watching this, you know how emotionally and physically challenging Peyronie's disease can be, but I want to give you hope that this is something that's treatable. If you suspect you have Peyronie's disease, don't wait or feel embarrassed. Reach out to a medical doctor or a physiotherapist who specializes in men's pelvic pain. Early, non-invasive care can make all the difference in the world prior to considering surgery. So I hope this video shed some light on what Peyronie's disease is and why ultrasound therapy is gaining traction as a treatment. And if you're a man with reduced erectile function and you want to do everything you can to limit your susceptibility to Peyronie's disease, check out my video on how to fix erectile dysfunction without the use of pills or surgery. And if you found this video to be helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button so this video can be pushed out to more men who might need to see it. Thanks for watching.